My name is Daryl Houghton. I'm a behavioral support nurse at Sheridan Villa Long-Term Care. Uh, I've been working there for about two and a half years. Uh, I've been practicing nursing for only about three years. And during the uh, onset of the global pandemic of COVID-19, um, I was thinking to myself that there was maybe a possibility that we would be able to keep the virus from entering our long-term care. When we had our first few cases, uh, my supervisor had asked me if I wanted to be part of a COVID response team. Our role would be to just work exclusively with uh, patients that were COVID-19 positive. One of the things that really stands out to me is uh, the implementation of the PPE. This was going to be, you know, our, our saver, um, how we were going to kind of keep the virus at bay. That coupled with cohorting staff, you know, we have staff that only work in one place at one time. Um, they stay in one unit, they can't work in other units. Um, that was also, um, you know, integral to, you know, keeping the virus, keeping the numbers low. We opened up uh, a separate unit uh, just specifically, again, for COVID positive patients. Uh, the unit itself uh, was on lockdown. We just had a team that worked on that unit exclusively um, in order to, you know, mitigate any risks of spreading the virus. I am one of four charge nurses that, um, that have been running the unit. Um, you know, it, it hasn't been easy. I think one of the harder things just working with, um, with the virus is um, living in the uh, isolation housing. So I've been here for approximately eight weeks or so. It has been quite difficult uh, to be away from my family and friends. There's really not much social interaction that I get to do outside of work. Um, typically, if I want to talk to, you know, loved ones, family, friends, it's going to be a phone call, um, social media, um, a video call. It really just seemed like the responsible thing to do. Um, you know, but keeping my family and loved ones safe uh, from me, you know, inadvertently giving them COVID-19 should I uh, contract it. With everything that's been going on, um, you know, it, it, if me, with me working with these um, this population, coming to work every day and essentially being exposed to COVID-19, uh, you know, I did feel it was it was the best way to to sort of handle that and. and you know, mitigate the risk of spreading it to others.